All right, YouTube, so I'm going to show you how I charge Biochar today. And, uh, yeah, this is not Biochar yet. Yeah, this is just technically just charcoal. And this is charcoal that I uh, had left over that didn't break down when I was sifting it. Either because it's too hard or because I just didn't want to put more work into breaking it down. But, yeah, I'm using today some expired flour. So... If you don't have expired flour or you don't want to use flour, that's fine. You don't need to. I'm just using it because, like I said, it's expired and I don't need it anymore. Fl flour is a good food source for your biochar. And I guess I should mention that this is five gallons of unsifted or unbroken up charcoal to five pounds of old flour and I'm gonna let this sit for two weeks before I use it we're in the last weeks of January so it should be good to use and uh, I don't know what I plan on using it yet I guess I'll figure that out later I think I put more flour than I did charcoal or maybe because my truck is not broken down enough. Something like that. And because it rained the other day, my truck was wet. So I'm not worried about water right now. Um, put some coffee grounds just because I have it. And it's good for your microbes. If I can get it out. And uh, it's a different video where I plan to use this. Right now I'm just getting it charged up. So it's ready for when I'm making that video. Got compost, four cups of compost just for the microbes. Uh, one store bought, the other one is uh, worm castings, and two cups of it is from compost that I made. And then uh, four cups of rock dust. You can see it's kind of clumpy just because uh, the rain again. Mix it all together.
Yeah, you can see some of his, his charcoal leaves that's breaking down. Like I said, I don't feel like breaking down much more than I already did. So, this was the what I had left of it. Now, all the amendments that I use, you don't have to use. If you make your own compost, you just use all your compost. And uh, the rock dust, you don't have to use rock dust either. You can just use really good native soil. Or if the native soil is pretty bad, you can just use that. Uh, the minerals is what we're looking for anyway. So, it doesn't matter if your soil is good or not. So, yeah. Just compost and your native soil and you should be good charging this. Just like that but uh i have the flower that i'm not using like i said expired and uh i had rock dust that i bought like a year ago now and uh the compost that i made and then the warm compost that i bought and uh other compost i used that i bought but other than that you don't really need anything if you don't want to you can use your own urine to use to put a uh, nitrogen but uh, I think the compost that I put in here should be fine. <clears throat> um, you can use JLF if you have that. Or Jadam liquid fertilizer. Or if you have a fish motion, fish hydrolysate. Anything with a lot of nitrogen in it, you can use in here. If you have different types of fertilizers, you can use that instead. But this is basically it. And uh, I'm going to let this sit here for two weeks until I'm ready to use it in a different video, like I mentioned. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how this looks and how it goes for the next two weeks. But right now, this just how to charge it for now is done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.